everyone. Hello. Happy Thursday to you. How is your week going? So I'm going to give it a few minutes to see um, more people joining this live. And I titled this live today, Eyeshadows, um, Selfie Light, Lashes, and New Product Announcement. So I've got some exciting things to go over with you all today. If you are watching this on replay, if you're watching um, later on, and you can't catch it right now, will you please just hashtag replay in the comments below. I do love reading all of your comments and um, seeing who was able to watch my videos and answer any questions and help you find the products that would be best for you and your face and the styles that you want to achieve. So if you're watching on live, will you please go ahead and comment hashtag live in the comments below and ask me any questions that you um, can think of or if you want information on anything, let me know that so I can follow up and get in touch with you. So um, I'm going to share with you um, getting, getting the rest of my makeup put on my face. Um, right now I simply have my foundation and I'm going to showcase some other products um, of course, I'm an affiliate with Tori Bell, and I've been with Tori Bell for one year now, so I'm so excited to have my lash anniversary this week, and I'm so excited and happy to um, still be growing and developing with this amazing company. And if you ever want more information on the opportunity for yourself, then you know that you can always contact me about that, and I can get you set up. There is a Facebook group page that you can join with no obligation, just if you just want more information. So um, I'd be so happy to share all of that with you and answer any questions you have. If you're ever interested in the opportunity, it is always available to you. Okay, so my foundation is, um, I like this Clinique foundation, um, Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I just think this, is, this goes on so smooth and I just love it. And um, it's a nice like thickness um, for great coverage and it really does last all day. So anyways, um, I get this from Ulta and so it's this Clinique brand and so I really like that. So I have that on my face. Um, I also just have a little bit of under eye um, things for the dark circles that um, are always under my eyes, unfortunately. So I have that on and then I have some powder, some setting powder on my face and then I also have the Brow Works Gel in brown already on my face. And beyond that, I have nothing else on. So I figured today, a lot of my sister affiliates, they um, they do this, they get ready on their lives uh, with their clients and their fans. And um, just to kind of inform you guys about some of our products and, and even some other products. Um, so everything I'm going to put on my face is going to be Tori Bell products except for that foundation and that under eye um, cream because we just don't have that yet. Yet, the power of yet, right? So um, I know that um, our CEO is working on that, but she's not going to release anything until it is absolutely perfect, until it is high quality and the best. And so she's working on that. So you, so you guys, foundation should be coming so soon as well as some brushes. Um, these are my... Um, airbrushes from um, Ulta. It's the It um, the It brand and I really do like them. These are just some of them. I have like the whole set but I didn't bring them all in here because I won't be using them all um, for what I'm doing today. So I really love these brushes but I'm so excited for the future of um, Tori Bell brushes to come out. So that's another thing that we have in the works um, to look forward to. And I'll talk in a little bit more, I'll share with you about a new product um, that will be released tonight. And um, I'm super excited about that, and I know many of you will be as well. So I'll share with that later. So, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is use Stark Naked. So this is actually an eyeshadow palette, but you guys, this can be used for so many different things, and you're gonna see this being used right now um, for more things than just eyeshadow. So I use my blush brush, and I like to use this Nubian, this brown color, to do um, 
some contouring. So I'm gonna go under my cheekbone here. I'll do this side first. So this is how I get ready um, most days. This is what it looks like here for me. Okay, so that gave me like a nice little subtle contour here. Okay, and so you can see this side versus this side. There's a slight subtle difference, not a lot, but just enough. And so even though this is, even though this is an eyeshadow palette, it can be used for so many different things. It's so versatile, and um, I just, I love Stark Naked. It's amazing. So I'm going to do this other side to contour. Again, just kind of under the cheekbone, and then go all the way up into my hairline here, or just about to my hairline. Okay. I'm going to do just a little bit more on that side. And by the way, I am no makeup artist. I am no professional. Just been doing makeup, my own makeup for a very long time. Probably started too young. Um, but um, I've learned a lot from our amazing CEO and my sister affiliates about makeup and such. So I like to apply some of their, their tips and things. And I'm just sharing it with you. Again, I'm no professional. Just This is how I do my makeup. And... Just letting you know about some of our products that we have that can be used for so many different things. Okay, I also like to use a little bit of this Nubian on the sides of my nose. And what this does is, on each side of your nose here, what this does is it just makes your nose look up a little bit slimmer. And so, it's a little bit slimmer there. And then I also take a little bit, and I do my forehead up here, just a little bit of a bronzing effect. Okay, so I do that right after I do my foundation, right after I do my foundation and my setting powder. Okay, then I take this, um, it's like a white color, this is um, alabaster. I take this white color to actually highlight. So I get a little bit of my, on my brush, not a lot, and I just go along my nose line here. And again, this just creates a, it's an illusion, a little bit of a slimmer nose right there. Okay, I also use this a little tiny bit of this on my chin down here just to highlight those points that you want the light to show. Okay, and then I also use just a little bit here on the corners of my eyes, kind of brighten them up. They definitely need some brightening. They look pretty dull with no eye makeup on. You will not see me out in public like this because <laughs> I definitely have my eye makeup on before I go out in public. Okay, so again, just to brighten the eyes just a little bit. And I'll do a little bit more of that after I get my eyeshadow on and my lashes and all that. Okay, so enough for the contouring and highlighting. It doesn't take you very long at all to do that, and I use all I use Start Naked to do that. Um, so, okay, something really fun that I just learned um, with our eyeshadows. I have all of our eyeshadows. We have Flat Earth, we have Space Out. We just released Wildflowers, and I'm gonna showcase showcase this on my eye, on my eyes for eyeshadow in just a little bit. Love those colors. You just saw the Stark Naked, which is more of the neutral tones. But it's awesome because it has like these just flat colors, no shimmer, and then a whole row of shimmer with the neutral colors. So it's such a great eyeshadow palette, and it's so big too. But these are these are giant, and so these last a long time. Um, I also have all that shimmers. All that shimmers is so shimmery, as you can see. I love this though. I love the shine, and I love these different colors too. So I just use all of these. I just mix around and switch around between all of these. But I just discovered I was playing and experimenting with makeup. Do you guys like to do that? Do you like to experiment with makeup? Um, especially on days that, you know, if you're not working, um, if you're off and, you know, you're just wanting to play around, it's like, it's okay if it messes up, it's just for fun. Um, and if it turns out great, awesome, you can, you know, you can reproduce that. You can do that on those days you do have to actually be somewhere and work or, or up here somewhere. So I did that the other day. I actually used something I never would have thought of, but I used Mars. See this red shimmery color? Okay, this is pretty like red, pretty pinky red. I use this um, on my cheeks for blush and I was blown away at how amazing the color was on my skin. Everyone's skin is different, so colors are going to look different on everybody. Um, our 
what's really cool about Tori Bell is um, one of the, one of the <laughs> numerous things that's so cool about Tori Bell Cosmetics is that our um, trait of the month, our value of the month, is inclusivity. And so to include everyone, all color, shape, sizes, men, women, everyone. And so um, as you know, different skin tones um, will, your makeup's going to look different on different skin tones. So this this Mars color might not look good on your cheeks. Um, or like another color that doesn't look good on my cheeks might look brilliant on you. So anyways, I'm just playing around just having fun with this. So I'm just going to use this eyeshadow for blush today. And you guys, I encourage you to um, try out new things. And like I said, if it doesn't look good, you know, you don't have to wear it again. Okay, no big deal. But you won't know unless you try it and experiment with your own makeup. So I'm just going to do this for um, blush here. So I'm going to go oh, kind of up over and above where I did my contouring with Stark Naked Nubian. Okay, and it doesn't take very much. So as you can see, my cheeks are pretty rosy now. And okay, so that was Mars. You can see this side versus no, um, no blush on this side, just the contouring right here. Okay, so it really doesn't take very much. I probably used a little bit too much, but we can lighten it up, it's okay. Um, our eyeshadows, all of our eyeshadow palettes are highly pigmented. So what that means is there's so much color in just a little tiny bit amount. So you really don't have to use very much. I literally just did like two little brushes on Mars, this little um, eyeshadow circle here, and we're going to apply it on this side here. Okay, does not take very much. It's actually really easy to do too much. So I don't think anyone who knows me says I ever put not enough makeup on. If anything, I put too much makeup on. So anyways, little thing I struggle with. <laughs> but okay, so I've got my eyeshadow or my blush on, my eyeshadow blush, right? Because it was actually eyeshadow, but you can use it for so many different things. And, and again, you guys try that at home. To lighten this up, I'm going to go back to my Stark Naked palette in the Alabaster, this white here. And I'm just going to do a little bit up here, again, around my eyes, just to kind of brighten the eyes too, get the eyes ready for some eyeshadow. Normally, I do not do my brows before my eyeshadow because I don't want any of the powders to be in my brow gel, okay? But for the sake of this, I don't want to take up too much time, and so I went ahead and did eyebrows today first. But normally, I'll do my foundation, my powder my contouring and highlighting, and then my blush. Then I'll do eyes, um, eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do eyeshadow now. Okay, so I told you that we just released this Wildflowers palette inspired by natural wildflowers and the colors um, of nature. So you've got some super shimmery, look at that, super shimmery shine. I mean like super big flakes of glitter in there. And then you've also got some just um, flat colors here too. So a good mix of everything. And so I'm going to use, I have fallen in love with this color. I didn't know that I would like this so much. But this is, um, let's see, Pimpernel. Pimpernel, I think I'm saying that right, but I'm not sure. But it's like this orangey, kind of a burnt orange color. I think this is going to be awesome for fall time. So I've actually fallen in love with this color. And at first, when I first got this, I didn't know if I would like this color, but I do. I love it. So I'm going to start on this eye over here and just do um, below the crease. I like to do my darker colors below the crease first. You don't have to do that. Do what you like. This is just what I do. I'm just sharing with you how I get ready. And I don't normally have my hair already curled or fixed either. But for the sake of the video, I didn't want to scare you guys too much. I went ahead and did my hair. So this color is super amazing. Let me see if I can get close up with my brush. See if it will zoom in on this or not. It's just like super, let me move so it's, well, there we go. See those, like, see all that shimmer and like the chunks of the, the glitter in it? It's so amazing and it looks beautiful in the sunlight. So I love this color in the sunlight. It is so shimmery and bright and eye-catching. And we have so many shimmery eyeshadows, but if you're not into the shimmer and shine, then we have the Flat Earth 
um, eyeshadows as well. Like I said, Stark Naked has a whole row of just like flat colors too. Okay, so I have been loving this color. I never knew I liked to wear orange. I'm an OU fan. <laughs> but this color is just brilliant. I love it. And I love the one right next to it too, Cornflower. I love that purpley color too. It has been amazing too. So anyways, I'm wearing this one today though. Okay, so I've got that orangey, glittery, chunky color. I'm going to do a little bit of the one above this, which is, let's see, this should be um, poppy right here. Okay, so we're going to do just a little tiny bit of that, and that's a flat color. I'm going to do that just above my crease. I usually only use three colors for eyeshadow, but I don't know. You can use more if you want. I just feel like it's easy to overdo eyeshadow. Okay. Then, for the very top, I'm actually going, let's see here, I am going to, I always want to do like a really light color under my brow line to really open up the eyes, and then I also do a super light color down here in the crease I'll show you. So, um, let's go back to Wildflowers. I'm going to go back to this Wildflowers one, and we're going to do this one that looks kind of yellowy. It's like a really shimmery one too. And let's see here. This one is Primrose. So Primrose, so I'm gonna use that. It's a light color. So we're gonna go under the brow line with that one. Just under the brow line. It's gonna give it a nice soft shimmer. It's not the chunky glitter, like that first orangey one that I used. It's just slightly shimmery. And we're gonna do that on both sides. I always do, whatever I do on one side, I always go ahead and do the other side. And I like that too because whatever is on the brush for one side is on the brush for the other side. I'm not mixing a whole bunch of colors and, um, you know, your face is does not, it's not perfectly symmetrical. Um, I don't know anyone's face that's perfectly symmetrical naturally. So we say our eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Um, same thing with your makeup. You know, you want to try to get it the same on each side, but they're, you're, they're not twins they're you know they're sisters so they're similar but not exactly the same but I always do like you know if I do something down here I immediately go ahead and do the other side over here and then the middle middle and then up top so anyways I always do that okay so I'm going to go back to Stark Naked and I am going to go ahead and use actually change my mind I haven't used all that glitters for you so I'm actually going to switch to the, my All That Glitters. And don't you love this little case? It is so adorable. I love this little gold case. And they all of these come with a mirror that you can use if you prefer. I have this giant mirror over here. That's what I'm looking into. Okay, so I'm going to use this color that is silver. It's just simply called silver right here. So I'm going to use a silver. That's a slight subtle sil silver, but it is not subtle in its shimmer. That's for sure. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put some right here, my inner corner, my eye. I just think it opens it up a little bit. And I'm also gonna do this to the outer corner of the eye, but I'm gonna go underneath here. I heard someone say, I was watching a makeup video tutorial, and I heard someone say, do not be scared to put makeup under your eye, to put some eyeshadow under your eye. And I was like, oh, that kind of scares me. But it turns out beautiful, at least it did on this person. Now, I haven't ventured to try like dark colors under my eye. That's, that does scare me. But just a little light shimmer, sure, I'll totally do that. I'll get brave sometime and try like the darker colors under my eye. I need to experiment with that before I have to go back to work. So school is about to start back. Um, and as you know, if you know me, I'm um, an educator. So I teach middle school and um, I will be in charge of sixth grade English this year. And I'm ready to get back, I'm ready to get something going and started. Um, even though I'm nervous, I know that God is in control and um, you know we can't live in fear. So I'm ready to go back and meet my new students and see my past students and my colleagues and um, educate these young minds 
and empower them. So I am excited to get back for those reasons. Are any of you returning to work soon after being home, um, quarantines, any of you like needing some makeup because you're going to be out in public more, returning to work? This is a great time to order your lashes, your eyeshadows, whatever. Um, I forgot to mention, um, underneath all of this makeup, I do have an eye moisturizer and eye cream by Olay. Oh, I have it in here. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so I do love this. This is part of my nightly skincare routine, but I also use this um, in the mornings after I clean my face just to get a you know a nice um, clean palette to apply makeup on top of, wash away any oils and sweat that may have accumulated overnight. I know it sounds gross, but it's reality. Um, and then I like to apply the eye cream just under my eyes and around my eyes. Um, it's supposed to reduce... Um, fine lines, wrinkles, and um, dark circles. So Tori Bell doesn't have this out yet, so I'm using Olay. Um, I love Olay. And um, underneath on my face, my forehead, my cheeks, uh, my chin, nose, my eyelids, and my lips, I use our P3 Pore Perfecting Primer. And this is amazing. I can't say enough great things about this. Um, and it's a big tube that does last you a long time. Because when you apply this, you only squirt just a little tiny bit, um, smaller than a dime size amount, and you just rub it in. Gives you a nice little glow, makes your face all smooth to apply the makeup on top of it for a nice glowing, more youthful appearance. Okay, so anyways, if you guys need any makeup, you're returning back to work like I am, um, just comment or message me. I'll send you my link. And if you're not sure what style, lash style or something or eyeshadow to go with, um, again, it's different for everybody. Um, uh, we'll look at your skin tone and what kind of look you're wanting to go for. And I will just give you a recommendation based on your desires, your wants, your needs. Okay. So message me. I am so happy to help you find the right products for you. So, uh, we're going to move on to my eyes now, okay? So, we did my eyeshadow. Now, I'm going to apply some um, some lashes. I need some lashes. My eyes are super bare. Okay, I do sometimes use an eyelash curler just, like, really quickly just to kind of waken up my short little lashes, my natural lashes. And I do use a black eyeliner pencil from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye. And you don't have to do this. Um, I only do this to um, kind of give myself a guide when I'm applying the liquid magnetic eyeliner to my eyes. I literally can just go over this line and it makes it super easy. But I also use this, I've learned this since being with Tori Bell. Um, I also use this along my lash line to darken any skin that shows so you don't have like these see you can see right there in my inner corner eye where you can see a lot of skin so I make sure that I have a sharpened black eye pencil to kind of fill that in and then I do this on both sides this is a cheap eye pencil and you don't have to use this. You can apply the eyeliner directly to your skin, to your lash line. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to do this. This only takes like a minute or two to do. And I know it helps me. And if you're not used to wearing eyeliner, then I do recommend that you do this because it does give you a guide. It gives you like a little line to follow when you apply that magnetic eyeliner. So I just fill in as much as I can there along my lash line. And then I'll do like in the corner down here a little bit. Okay, and then since this is just like a brow, um, or not a brow, since this is just um, an eyeliner pencil, if I get this where I don't want it, like a little bit too much down here, I can just use my fingers as a tool to remove that, to kind of smudge that off. No big deal. Now, if I get magnetic eyeliner where I don't want it, I am definitely going to be using my Shake It Off makeup remover and a Q-tip to just gently dab and wipe off where I don't want the eyeliner, where I messed up. 
Okay, so we are going to apply some mascara to our bottom lids here. And so I've got the Siren Fiber Lengthening Mascara, which has been amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff, especially for those pull days. I mean, it's summertime, so I don't wear my lashes every day. Like when I'm going to the pool with my son, um, or maybe like an outdoor activity where I'm going to sweat a lot, um, I do not want to wear my lashes and lose them or ruin them. Even though they are, they do last through like humidity and they do last through sweat and all of that. I've worn them playing with my son at like Urban Air and they've lasted all day. But you do not want to wear these to the pool. That's a for sure no. Uh, we were just at the beach last week for my brother's wedding and that was amazing family vacay. And they had planned for a long time, long before the coronavirus. And they had even scooted the day back. And it was just like, okay, let, you know, let's, let's do this. Luckily, we did not go to an area that was highly affected, like some other beach areas. Um, so we were not like in the middle of all like that. Yes. Okay, they're in the pantry in the box. I can't leave them. Okay, I'll help you in a couple of minutes, okay, when mommy's done. You can say hi on the camera if you want. So, he doesn't want to. Um, okay, so when we were at the beach, I was not wearing my lashes because I wanted to get in the water and I didn't want my lashes to be at the bottom of the ocean. So anyways, I did not wear my lashes um, when we were going to the beach on those days. I wore them around town, of course, to the wedding, of course wars and I did wear them on the airplane on the way there and home and they of course they did great didn't go anywhere it didn't budge at all but anyways on the um on the beach days when we we knew we were going to be on the beach for a few hours and in the ocean I did I did wear the siren mascara and it was perfect for those days and it's perfect for going to the pool because it is water resistant Okay, so I've got some um, mascara on these bottom lashes. I'm going to do a little tiny bit on my top lashes. And you guys, I'm not doing this to glam out my natural lashes, okay? I'm only applying mascara on my natural top lashes to help them blend with the darkness of our magnetic lashes. We do have a brown magnetic lash that I have fallen in love with called Coffee House. It is out of stock. It was so popular. It sold out so quickly. I was lucky to even get a pair when I did. It is going to be restocked, I'm hearing, um, in September. And I cannot wait because I definitely need some more. And I got mascara where I don't want it. Take a Q-tip while it's still wet and just gently scrape that stuff off. Okay? Super easy. So you don't have to wear mascara on your natural lashes before you apply magnetic lashes. I only do, again, to blend in my lashes with the, the darkness of the lashes. Even the coffee house lashes, which are brown mocha colored, I still do apply some mascara. So um, you don't have to, it's just up to you. My lashes are naturally light, so I do that. We also have a blue midnight mascara, and I wore that on the plane to, um, to our beach destination and because I had like on this blue navy blue outfit and it was great it matched perfectly it was great okay so if you're wanting some colored lashes we do have those we've got the blue and the brown and maybe some more coming out we'll have to see okay so we have also come out with the first ever USA made magnetic eyeliner so this is our magnitude eyeliner that is made in the USA I have this in black, it is also available in brown and gray, and it comes in this awesome gold bottle. And when you pull this out, you're going to want to pull just straight up. You do not want to wipe any excess off on here, and the reason is, is because it will dry up and clump, and that is gross. You don't want that on your eyes, so do not ever do that. This is pretty clean because I don't ever do that. And when you reapply this to the bottle, make sure you go straight down. And the reason, again, is because you don't want all of these little um, hairs on the end here of your eyeliner to fray out. Okay, that would be such a mess. 
So be really careful, take care of these products and they will last for you. So we're gonna start in the middle, or not the middle, the inner eye here, and we're going to just draw a line across for this eyeliner over where I applied my black pencil eyeliner. And sometimes I go a little bit above that. My line is not perfectly straight, and ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, do not worry about that because your lashes are going to cover up those imperfections. But I did get somewhere I don't want it right here, and I'm going to quickly use my Q-tip. If it was already dried and set on there, I would open up my Shake It Off, stick my Q-tip in, get a little bit on there, and then rub it off. But it's not dry yet, luckily, so I, I don't have to use that product right now. Okay. But I do highly, highly recommend Shake It Off. Everyone who's tried this, I've done a lot of giveaways with Shake It Off and everybody who tries it is like, oh my gosh, that's the most amazing makeup remover. It removes my magnetic eyeliner so effortlessly, no harsh scrubbing, it's so gentle and it's hydrating. And it lasts you a long time and you always just wanna mix it up, mix those particles around and can stick a q-tip in there or you can just put a little bit on a washcloth and do it that way or like a, a makeup remover pad or something so it is truly amazing um i do highly recommend it okay so if you're getting some lashes or a bundle um or you already have lashes and you already have um, a bundle with the eyeliner add this to your next um to your next order and and you'll love it okay so we're gonna do this other eye and I've got the other one, the other side is drying. You wanna let this dry for about a minute. So it doesn't take very long to dry. Okay, we're going to let that side dry. You do need, with the um, Made in the US eyeliner, you do need two to three coats of eyeliner. Now we do still have our classic eyeliner formula the Magnitude Magnetic Eyeliner, we still have that if you don't want the Made in the USA one. Whichever is your preference, they both work magically and marvelously. And um, the Made in the USA one, I do recommend if you have sensitive eyes. So this is a slightly different formula than the classic formula. And I've noticed that I don't have any, zero irritation with the Made in the USA eyeliner. So this is my go-to, this is what I use. So we're letting that dry. I think we're ready to apply our second coat over here to this eye. So let's do that. Again, just going over the line you already have. This works because, this um, eyeliner works because it has iron oxides in it and all FDA approved ingredients. So it is safe for all users and the iron oxides is what the magnets in our lashes um, stick to. So guys, I always just go over a couple little tips with this. If your lashes are not sticking, it is not because the magnets just started to not work anymore. Um, our magnets don't do that, okay? They don't just stop working. Um, it's probably because you don't have enough eyeliner on or you did not allow the eyeliner to dry. Okay, this is super important. So I just did my second coat and I put that on pretty thick so I don't think I'm gonna do a third coat today. Um, sometimes I notice, oh, I need a third coat. I didn't put enough on. It's not sticking as, as tightly as I need it to. Then I'll just pull those lashes off and I'll just apply another coat. But the important thing is make sure that these dry, okay? So we're gonna let this dry for approximately uh, one half, two minutes, and I'm going to showcase to you some new products. So while we're letting that dry, I got a big shipment in the mail today. So I love those days where I get Tori Bell Mal. And I just got our brand new selfies in. Our selfies have been improved. Oh my gosh, and look, this is so cool. I literally have not opened these. There is a seal on these, so I know that nobody else um, has touched these. You know, they are brand new, so there is a nice little gold seal on there. So cool, it's the little things, you know, that really make this company um, amazing, outstanding, and, and really sets us apart, okay? So anyways, 
All right, so we're gonna break this seal off here. It's on there pretty good, that's good. Okay, there we go, I broke the seal off. So we're opening for the first time the brand new selfies. And these are new and improved selfies. They're still the same link, still all the same glamour as the previous loved selfies. The only difference is that at the base of these, so I'm gonna take this out and I'm just gonna pull this clear case off here. Another protective thing that Tori Bell does with our lashes to um, help them last longer for you. Remember 20 to 30 uses is what we get on average out of these. Maybe more if you're really taking care of them, maintaining them, leaving them in the case when not wearing them and just wiping off the magnets with only your fingertips. Do not get anything on these besides just use those fingertips to clean off any residue that might be left on there from eyeliner. But what's different about these selfies are at the base here along the magnetic strip line here um, is that they kind of form like a V, okay? So used to, they were just kind of straight, but now they're kind of, they start as a V and that is actually going to make them even stronger. So I'm super excited for these selfies because selfies are my all time favorites out of all of our lash styles. I love them all, but I love my selfies. Okay, another little tip. I've actually heard this from two of my amazing clients. When they got their lashes for the very first time, they were like, uh, I think something's wrong with the magnets because maybe it came in like, like that or something. Maybe it had just shifted during shipment. And if that happens to you, just check, pull this completely out here and check the back. And there are three magnets back here on the back side. And that's what helps you just to keep your magnets in the case. And so maybe they have shifted during shipment. Okay. So, you know, that happens during shipment sometimes. So don't worry, the magnets work. Um, you just have to maybe shift those or mine came in perfectly today. I got lucky, I guess. So mine usually do come in perfectly, but I've had a couple pair that were shifted and, and no worries about that. Okay, so those are selfies. I'm gonna put one selfie on in a minute and then I'm going to put another a different lash style on called Cabaret. This is my, um, if you've seen my, um, my VIP page, this is what I'm on right now. Um, my big um, picture um, at the top is of Cabaret. We just released Cabaret. Hey Gina, how are you today? Um, we just released Cabaret and it's currently sold out. It was limited edition. So maybe we'll get it back. Maybe. Um, just have to stay tuned. But this is a huge lash style. Okay, so look at Cabaret. Just took the clear casing off. Look at that. That is like so showgirl. That's so big, right? Here's the selfies. I used to think selfies were like the big girls, right? Selfies down here. But look at the cabaret. They are so massive. And I can't wait to try these because I love big lashes. So here's cabaret. And let's see here. Ooh, they come in our, now our lashes have 10 magnets. I mean, the six was amazing, but now we have like 10 little mini magnets. And that really just kind of kind of spreads them out. I think it gives you a better hold, honestly. Um, I still have a lot of our six magnet lashes though and I wear them all the time. But I am excited for improvements. Um, Tori Bell is always looking to improve, looking to improve products and come out with new things. So here we go. So I've got this lash and some people say you have to bend these lashes, the 10 kind of back and forth. If it's, okay, if it's too like firm for you, if it's too curved, you know, everyone's eyes are different shapes. If this isn't wanting to go on for you very well, you can bend, gently bend between the magnets. Also, if this is way too wide for you, if any of your lashes are way too wide for you, this is the cool thing about the 10 magnets. You can just trim them. So just take your scissors and just trim off. Um, I would just do one magnet. I would just trim off after that last magnet and always do the end, don't do the inner eye. And if that's not enough, then trim off another magnet until you reach the, uh, the appropriate length for your eye shape. I do not trim my lashes. My eyes must be really wide, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so I always start by um, tipping these, um, angling these to go to the inner eye first. And then I work my way outward with the with magnets. And then I also kind of just gently push them down. Okay, and the eyeliner is well and dry now, so I should not have any issues. So I let my eyeliner dry plenty. 
and I don't like where that's at. So here's what you're going to do. If you don't like where it's set at, just gently tug it off and reapply it, okay? Make sure it's where you want it before you leave your house, you know? Um, but you can definitely do that. You can definitely, like, move them around until you get them in the right place. So, I'm trying to get that where I want it. I don't know if I got it far enough again. See, I definitely don't have to trim my eyes. My eyes are, like, super wide, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, that's still not where I want it. Okay, I'm going to have to go even further. Wow. Sometimes you have to do this. Sometimes you have to just move it around and angle it differently. You know, you can angle our lashes more up or more down, depending on, you know, how far um, or high you want them to reach. Okay, I think I've got cabaret on. I'm just going to make sure all the, all the magnets are pushed down here by going along my, my eyeliner, which is dry, so it's not coming off on my finger. Wow, you guys, these are so glam. Oh, my word. This is cabaret. Okay, I definitely will not be teaching in these. This is way too extreme to wear to work. But maybe at your work, you know, this would be good. I don't know. Where do you guys work at? Comment below, where do you guys work at? Would this be good for your work? Or would this be like, no, that's special occasion lash. For me, this is special occasion lash. Okay, so I'm going to try on these brand new selfies on the other side. Now, I will tell you that we are having a, Tori Bell is having a convention in Las Vegas in October. Do you think that cabaret would be great for Vegas? What do you think? Comment. Should I wear cabaret for Vegas or not? Or should I wear something like more subtle? I'm thinking I'm going to be in Vegas, you know, showgirls and stuff, all kinds of things. All kinds of extreme things. I think that cabaret would probably be pretty good in Vegas. Okay, whoa, my selfies look tiny compared next to uh, Cabaret. I want to angle them actually a little bit more up. Not really quite satisfied with how they were angled there, so I'm going to reapply these in a more up position. I like my lashes long and high, so I like them to be up more. And again, I'm just kind of pressing down along that, that um, line Okay, yeah, selfies are, um, I used to think selfies over here were so extreme in that crazy, and I'm wearing cabaret over here. Selfies are not extreme when they're compared to something like cabaret, right? Oh, these are crazy, but this is so fun. It's so fun, though. Imagine, like, occasions where you could wear cabaret, too, maybe Halloween or something. That's the so amazing thing about our lashes is we have so many lash styles. We have subtle lashes that look so natural. People will not know you're wearing false eyelashes. We have lashes kind of in the middle, okay? I wear the in the middle lashes most of all, like Wonder Lash, Ladies Night, Date Night. I consider those to be mostly kind of in the middle of the length and the glam. And then we have some super glam, like selfies. They are super long. Selfies are super long over here. And then we have some major glam, like, oh my word. Like, people are going to know you have fake lashes on. And, like, you don't care if you're wearing these. Yes, look at my lashes. Can't see my haters because my lashes are so long. Okay? So whatever style you're going for, we have it for you. We have so many lash styles. We keep coming out with more. And guess what we have tonight, okay? So you've been waiting. You've been listening patiently. And you've been watching. And I've told you at the end of my live, I would tell you about the new release tonight. You may have already seen me post about it. But we are actually coming out with um, an adhesive glue pen in clear, black, and brown. And we are coming out with some new lashes that are meant to be worn with this adhesive glue pen. So it's gonna be like a, like a pen that has glue and you just apply the glue on, you let it dry, and then you, or you don't let it dry, sorry, I'm thinking magnetic. You apply the glue pen and then you apply the false eyelashes, the faux eyelashes. And we have three different styles. So like I was telling you, um, we have lash styles for every personality type, every person, every age, every color, skin tone, you name it, everybody. Total inclusivity, okay? 
So we have a very subtle eyelash style, similar to a nine to five, and it is called subtle, okay? Then we have kind of an in-between, which is a beautiful longer lash style than subtle, and it is called XOXO, okay? So hugs and kisses lash style, I love that. And then we have a longer lash style, probably closer to like this selfie that I have on over here, not this, not this extreme, but more like this, and that one is called bold. So we have subtle XOXO and bold lash styles to go with our adhesive glue pens. Okay, you can get those in bundles or you can get them separately. Why would you get them separately? I don't know. You can save money by bundling. And so those are going to be available tonight during our weekly CEOs live. She goes live every Thursday, you guys. She is amazing. She is uh, Laura Hunter. If you haven't heard of her, you anybody can watch the live. You do not have to be an affiliate to watch her lives. All you have to do is go to the Tori Bell Cosmetics Facebook page. It is a public page, so anyone can go on there and watch. She does this every um, Thursday night at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, so that's 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So she's in Washington, so she always goes off everything Pacific Standard Time. So 4 p.m. if you're in Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. if you're local around me in Oklahoma Central Standard Time Zone. And you can watch that, okay? It lasts around an hour, and during those lives, she announces new products. She also does flash sales that are only available during the lives. So you have to be watching, you have to be commenting to maybe earn some giveaways and things. And right after her live, or during her live actually, the new products are um, live for you to purchase. So I can give you my shopping link and you can check that out tonight if you're interested in glue-ons rather than magnetics. So, um, or if you use magnetics and you're like, hey, I'd like to try this because I know the magnetics are high quality. I know this company is reputable and only produces high quality products which we do, obviously, or wouldn't be on here talking to you and so passionate about it. Um, but if that's something you're interested in, you just want to try the glue-ons because you know everything that we produce and share with you is amazing and high quality, then try the glue-ons and just see what you like better. Um, so I'm super excited for these new products. And another new product I'm going to share with you, and I'm going to be done, is our selfie light. You guys, we just came out with a selfie light product. And I'm so excited about this. I have this really big ring light that I use for my lives. You can see in my eyeballs, I know. Um, but those are expensive, and not everyone can afford those or, or wants that. Um, we have this selfie light. Unfortunately, this is sold out right now, but guess what? I got a couple extras, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon because we have reached over 100 followers on my Ashley's VIP Lash Beauties page. So it is time for a giveaway, and it plus, it has been my um, lash anniversary this week, so we need to celebrate. So I'm going to be giving away a selfie light. I'll send it to, to you. I'm super excited for this product. So cool. So you can start doing lives or just take some beautiful glamorous pictures of yourself. This clips onto your the top of your phone. See that? Nice little clip. Nice little ring up that will light up. And um, here's a little cord that you just simply are going to, it's a short because it just goes from your phone to your ring light. So let's test this out. Okay, so we are going to plug this into the top. I've never used this before, so you guys bear with me if I mess up, but I want to try it out. I'm super excited when I get new things from Tori Belt, especially because I know it's going to be something amazing. And so, okay, sorry for the moving around here. I'm plugging this into the bottom of my phone, or at least I'm trying to. Okay, I'm just going to totally move my phone for a second here. Um. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm actually going to plug this in. So this is going to plug into my phone right now. Um, maybe if you have like a different phone, I don't know, iPhone or something. Does it work? Oh, now I can't get my phone in. Go back in this case. Come on, phone. Okay, sorry for these issues. Bear with me. Okay, okay, we're back. Okay, so I'm actually going to plug this into my computer then, and. 
We are going to, okay, we're gonna actually unplug my big ring light. Woo, there goes the light. So it's gonna make everything look different, right? Okay, so we are actually going to now move this and hook this up to my phone. I'm gonna have to drag this down quite a bit here. Okay, so getting different angles, here we go. Okay. And then there should be like a little button on here to press. Let me check this out again. Thank you so much for bearing with me. This is like all new to me. Okay. Oh, cool. Look. Okay, look. The ring light is on. There is a button on the back that you press and it is on. Okay, so now I'm going to clip this to my phone. We're going to check this out. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's my ring light on my phone. Gives me some light. You guys, if you're not using a ring light, I highly recommend it for taking those selfies, taking your pictures, um, or if you're doing lives for a business or something, I highly recommend a ring light. This is just a small one. It is affordable, and it can hook up to your phone, so hey. Okay, all right, so that's cool. So I just tested that out. That was super fun. Again, if you would love a ring light, if you would love for me to do a giveaway, and for you to win a ring light for yourself, type in the comments ring light. Okay, so I'll know who's interested. I'll put you in my giveaway and I'll be doing that drawing very soon because it is time for me to give away some free stuff. You guys have been loyal um, customers, clients, and followers, and I just want to reward you. Oh, I just found something cool. Out. So you can change the intensity of the light. So I pushed it to turn it off, but it actually made it stronger. Ooh, even stronger. Are you serious? Ooh, look at that light. Look at that. Yes, I love that. Okay, that's so cool. I didn't know it had like different in intensities and then it turns off. That is so cool. I'm so excited. And so you guys deserve some rewards and I'm so ready to be generous and give those away. So type in ring light if you want a ring light, if you want to be entered into that giveaway, okay? Um, if you want more entries, tag your friends in this video. Share my page, okay? Invite your friends to like and follow this Ashley's VIP Lash Beauties page, and I'll give you even more entries into my giveaway. So I'll give you guys some time to do that, give you guys a few days, and then I will do a giveaway drawing before I have to return to my full-time work as a teacher, which I have to return next Thursday. So, yay, exciting stuff going on. Catch that live tonight. Comment any questions, your comments you guys have. Do you like cabarets too much? Or do you like the new selfie? Do you want to try out a Boulder Lash like selfie? You won't regret it. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it so much. So, um, if I can help you with ordering, let me know. One last thing, on my lips, I have on our seashell. Seashell Velvet Kisses, and I love it. It's subtle, it's a great nude color, and it doesn't rub off on anything. So you know how we're all wearing our masks um, in public places, and to be safe, keep other people safe. I have to wear one every day at work when we start back school, and I love this velvet. I love all of our velvet kisses because they're all matte, fast drying, and they don't rub off. I take my, my mask off after wearing it for hours, and there is nothing on the mask, and my lips still look like I just put my lip color on. It does not rub off. It lasts. So if you're looking for something, I've seen a lot of comments on this, uh, if you're looking for something that won't rub off on masks, you need Velvet Kisses, okay? And we have all of our colors stocked right now. So you can get this um, by ordering through my website. Get free shipping directly to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Have a fabulous day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.